Do you ever just get that feeling of despair when you keep on losing box fights? When it just seems like the player you're fighting is just better and unbeatable? Well, a lot of us have been there, but when we start watching pros compete in box fights, they never seem to lose. Why is that? Well, through a bit of analysis, we can take those same skills those pros use and apply it to our own games to go from losing every single box fight to being unstoppable. Today, we're gonna be looking at one of the best mechanical players in Fortnite today, No Ray Lee. So No Ray Lee is a seven time Cash Cup winner and known for being a force to be reckoned with due to his insane mechanics and mastery of controlling of a fight. And so today, we're gonna to be watching a few clips from Nori Lee to identify four easy ways that you can play just like him and start dominating your fights. Man, I'm so excited about this. Bunch of crush Army. You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. If you're looking to get better at Fortnite like your favorite pros, our top coaches on Pro Guides are ready to help you one-on-one -on -one get better at game sense, mechanics, vibe reviewing, and everything that you want to learn at your own pace and on your own level. Head on over to ProGuides.com now to get started and use code RANKUP2021 to get 20% off. Okay, so before we begin talking about specific techniques No Really uses to get ahead in box fights, we need to start by laying down the foundation. So No Really has extremely good aim and mechanics, and in fact, you know, he's known for like having some of the best mechanics in all of Fortnite. And so getting the foundation certainly helps him in fight. And when you watch clips of his, you can see he rarely misses shots, which just increases his accuracy so much more. But No Really didn't just wake up one day, guys, with like magically good aim. No, in fact, like he works very hard and he trains repeatedly through routines and creative courses to continue to perfect his aim and mechanics. And you know what? You could do the same as well. He always warms up with 1v1 aim duels, 1v1 build fights, and so much more. You know, he also partakes in a rigorous aim routine every day, involving both in-game aim trainers to warm up to Kovacs to improve his aim. So getting on a routine is a guaranteed way to instantly improve your aim and mechanics, ensuring that you know, you're gonna have much higher chances at winning your box fights. So we're gonna go ahead and link a video covering Norelli's entire warm-up routine and aim training course on Destiny Jesus' YouTube channel in the description below. Doing his routine or something similar would certainly be a good place to start, I'm telling you. All right, guys, so bunch of crunch army. Now that we've covered the foundation, it's time to look at some clips of Nori Lee fighting to identify the best ways that you can improve in your box fighting to be more like him. So this is a big one that a lot of players, pros included, get wrong. So when you're box fighting, guys, like you don't always want to be a maniac and just hop straight into the enemy's box. In fact, if you pay attention to the way a lot of top box fighters fight, like Nori Lee, you're going to notice they always seem to take shots on other players without exposing themselves. They do this by taking advantage of unique peaks and angles to properly navigate the box and target their opponent while protecting themselves. All right, so let's take a look at Nori Lee in a box fight and pay attention, man, to the way he hugs the walls, does peanut butter edits, and so much more to minimize the chances the enemy has to get a shot on him. Yeah, I'm, cr I'm creative, I'm hard to open, that's true. All right, let me ask you this. Did you guys notice the way that he effectively managed to avoid taking lots of damage in that fight? Of course, taking some damage is inevitable, I get it. But through his peaks and angles, he was able to avoid taking damage as much as possible while still hitting his enemy and pushing him back. So using edits like the peanut butter allowed No Ray Lee to avoid taking too much damage. Applying these same maneuvers to your game was certainly gonna help you guys become way more successful in box fights. Okay, so in this clip, Norelli uses these peaks flawlessly again to dominate his box fight, and this time while taking zero damage. All right, did you guys just notice like the way he's able to stand behind a peanut butter and use two cones in between him and his opponent and still manage to land a huge shot while managing to use the cover to not get damage? That's crazy. Like this is a perfect example of fighting without exposing yourself in box fights. Really good. So the best way to learn to do this is through memorizing the peaks and angles that pro players such as Nori Lee use in their clips. And so after understanding these peaks and angles, hopping into a creative game with some of your friends or in matchmaking and just trying them out is the best way that you can actually learn. 
And ultimately, practice makes perfect, right? But learning the techniques and practicing them is just half the problem. You also have to be able to pull these off in real time and extremely fast speed, which I know you can do. So I want you to watch this clip that we just analyzed Nori Lee again, but this time I want you to take a different perspective. Pay attention to how fast Nori Lee plays, all right? How quickly he comes up with his decisions and how fast his edits are. All right, let's take a look. All right, did you notice how fast his edits are? In some places, man, you can barely even see him make the edit and they just seem to disappear out of thin air. He was able to use these insanely fast and accurate edits to speed up his gameplay to completely catch his opponent off guard under his ramp to the point that when he made the edit, his opponent was caught like a deer in the headlights. So although your builds may not be as fast as no release, like you can certainly get to the point that, you know, through continuous repetition and practice, I'm telling you, you could do the same thing. The Navy SEALs have a saying, fall back in your training, which relays the concept that when you're fighting, things are going to get a bit out of control, so always fall back on your training and rely on it. This also applies to Fortnite. If you practice certain edits and movements enough and slowly increase the speed at which you do them by making 100% accuracy, your speed at which you operate in game will instantly get up as you're gonna be able to make edits and maneuvers so much quicker. This is a technique that no really uses when fighting to catch his opponent off guard. So repeating those edits and creative until you can do them as fast as like 100% accuracy and then using that speed in game to rush opponents while protecting yourself is a guaranteed way to win more fights and just throw your opponents off guard. So conclusion, all right, so what did we learn today by analyzing No Release gameplay? All right, number one, we identified the exact routines and methods that he uses to get his insane aim and how he uses that effectively to combat his opponents in box fights. Number two, so we looked at the way he maneuvers inside a box and uses angles and peaks like peanut butters, cones, and windows to land shots on his opponents without getting hit himself. And three, finally, we looked at the speed at which he operated and learned how you too can operate at that same speed and how to use speed to catch your opponents off guard and land critical hits. So applying these techniques to your game is a sure way fire to really improve, but be sure not to stop there. Like, you know, continue to analyze other talented pros and find the ways they thrive in box fights. I'm telling you, man, it's something that I recommend every player do. Watch their clips, find out what they do, you know, apply those same techniques to your own game to become a better and dominant player. And I'm telling you, man, you're gonna start obliterating your competition. Hey, if you guys liked the video, you already know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and spread the word. We got so many more amazing content coming out. We're really helping players achieve their dreams and Fortnite. And if you want to connect with me, I'd love to connect with you on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I really do believe in you guys. I am your number one fan. I'm rooting for you. So whenever negativity comes against you, know that you got a friend here in Keith Allen. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.